What's going on everybody? It's Eavesdrop. I hope that you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day. Now I know this camera angle is a little bit weird. If you watched uh, the videos around this video, like maybe the video or two after and the video two before, I'm at home right now for the Easter weekend. Um, if you can't tell from some of my other videos I've made at home or some of the vlogs, which there will be a few more vlogs coming out from home, th that this is, is home and not the dorm. I did bring the PC as you can see though. Here's part of my setup. You guys have seen that before. You can go and find that video of my setup if you would like. There's two of them, one from the dorm. One from home. But that's not what we're here for today. You guys know what we're here for today because of the title. I got a brand new keyboard, which is also, you know, it's going to be part of the setup. And wa boom, wa bang, the Black Widow X Tournament Edition. Did I say Razor? Did I say Razor? If you couldn't tell by the green, it's uh, it's Razor. I'm super hyped uh, to unbox this for you guys. I'm super hyped to use this. Um, you can't see my other keyboard, but it, it's all plastic. This one has a metal finish. And you know, before I just explain more of it, let's just get into it. If you're new, make sure to drop a nuke down on that subscribe button. But let me grab a knife so we can cut this thing open. Not, not necessarily the keyboard, I hope not. So we can cut the tape open and see what this thing is all about. Okay, I think this might be my first standing Review. I don't think I've stood. If you can't tell, I'm not. I'm not sitting on anything. I'm standing. I'm also recording with my phone, not my normal webcam. The lighting was just too bad over there. The lighting is better here because you know it's it's window lighting. Everybody loves window lighting. Uh, but where are the pieces of tape? Is my question. There's none on the sides. It's all on the bottom here. So let's uh pull this over here. I'm gonna cut away from myself. Life lessons from eavesdrop. This actually there's like little there's little separation on the tape here. I don't know. There we go. And there we go. Let's get it. Put the knife down. We didn't die. We're okay. No cuts. Uh, no bruise. I, I mean, I, I don't know if a knife would cause a bruise. It probably just cut me open. But let's uh see what we are working with. There's the Black Widow branding right there. Razor. Razor. You guys saw it. I don't know how much you care about the box, but there it is. And here we go. Woo! Look at the presentation. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I love how they presented. So right here, it says, welcome to the cult of Razor. You won't be able to see it because I think the contrast on my camera is too high. You might be able to see a little bit of a reflection, but it's, it's written in black as well. But I love this box. I know I'm obsessing too much about the actual box, but I love that the pamphlets and stuff, which I probably won't read are up here. This is the first time I've been happy to actually see booklets like this because the, the, they're up, the, the, it was presented so well. I freaking love it. And there was stickers, I believe, trying to fall out of here if we can get them to, whoa, there we go. Are these the chroma stickers? They are the chroma stickers. So if you can see the reflective and they show off that chroma lighting. Chroma just being RGB, obviously it's reflecting all the colors. So it is full RGB. Let's put that down though. We're not here for the stickers. We are here not for the booklet either, but there's the booklet. If, if, you, if you wanna do some, some light reading, that's actually really thick for a keyboard. I wonder what's in here. I'll never know. Boom, there we go. So now I believe we can hop on into the keyboard. Let's open up this like so. We'll open up the back panel. Oh my god, it smells like Christmas. Whoo! Smells good. Smells good. We're gonna put that down. And we're gonna pull off this plastic cover piece here. Or is is there even a cover piece? Oh, and there's foam right here. It's so it's so well protected. Let's see if we can get it out. It might be kind of difficult. Okay, I guess we're taking the whole thing out. Put it down. Box is empty. That looks like that's all that comes in the box. So now it'll be a lot easier to just take that off. Put it over there, take this off, put it over there. There we go. And bada boom, bada bing. Take off the last piece of wrapping, I guess, which is hard plastic. Boom. I believe if you get the full size keyboard, not the tournament edition, uh, the box has like a hole in it where you can like touch some of the numbers. So because this one does not have that, nobody has touched it. Also, it came from Amazon. So I doubt anyone in the Amazon storage room was playing it. Unlike if you get it at like Best Buy, somebody might be, you know, tapping your number keys and goddamn. Can you guys hear that? I'm gonna put it down here because I'm actually using my Yeti over here. That sounds so good. And the keys feel so springy. My, my last board used blues, but they were not cherry blues. They were kale blues. If you know anything about kale, some people pronounce them Kyla. I don't think that's how you pronounce but I, I say kale. I think that's the correct way. Maybe not. The last one used blue kale switches. So they're supposed to be clicky just like these. But these feel and sound so much better. I think I think part of the sound might be from the metal. And speaking of the metal, this whole thing is lined in 
metal. This whole back plate, I guess you would call it, is metal. Or maybe this is the front plate, I don't know. But back here, it's plastic. And I'm not too worried about that. Some people will be like, oh, I wanted a whole metal design. But as you can see, the plastic starts here. I really wanted the metal top. And they, they say it's like, I don't even think they say, they don't say aircraft grade aluminum, which is what you hear a lot. They just say military grade metal. So I don't know what kind of metal this is. Is it iron? Is it steel? Is it aluminum? I have no idea. But I know it's freaking solid. It feels so good to the touch. And um, my last one was completely plastic. So huge, huge improvement. And as you can see, it is the tournament edition, which means it is 10 keyless. So it doesn't have the number pad. And yeah, so back here, under it, we have four pads to grip the surface of your desk, as well as the cord, which can be routed this way, straight up and over your face, or it can be routed straight out the side. So these go straight out the side. There's no like canal that goes up. But yeah, so we'll take off this little this little piece. I know people like seeing that. And on the front, kind of uh, on the complete opposite of this, we do have the Razer logo right here. So I'm going to see if I can get this plugged into a USB port. So maybe we can see some of the colors and it has a braided cable as well. Very cool. I love braided cables. My last one does not have a braided cable. My last one I actually bought just because it was the cheapest RGB keyboard that I could find. M mechanical keyboard that I could find. I figured since it was mechanical, it would last a long time. But I do think that the brand really matters and I'm really excited to use the all metal Razer keyboard. Okay, so we come over to and plug it into my my uh, my computer back there um, and it's shifting colors right now. I don't know if you can tell, it's very hard to tell. Maybe we'll go set this down on the desk. All right, you guys, so we are back over at my desk where you're gonna be able to see the lighting a little bit better. There she is, all metal. There's the keys once again. I have two keyboards plugged in, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I probably shouldn't press it because <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna mess up the, uh, the audio recording there. There's my old keyboard running full RGB. That's the Thermaltake Poseidon Z RGB. GB, but we are not here to see that. We are here to see the beautiful all metal. There's the Razer logo as well. And uh, there she is. So we got some sick. I love how they took out their old gamery font and put in more of a normal font, but there's the lights. And if you look at it from this angle, you can see all of them right there, which is super cool. All right, so here it is in a darker environment with the lights as out as I could get them. I mean, it is daytime, but it is so bright, especially if you're not having a back plate. This is my old keyboard that has the white back plate. It, it has a back plate, but not a white one. Uh, and you can see how it like, it, it's reflecting off the white back plate and all. But even without that here, look how much glow comes off of this. It looks freaking amazing. Right now it's cycling through all the RGB colors. It can definitely do this same thing as my old keyboard through Razer Synapse, but um, looks freaking awesome. It's so bright. And I don't even know if it's on full brightness. Maybe we can, I believe we hit function and go here we can brighten it all the way up so that should be as bright as it goes and if we have function down it should dim down which it does look at that completely off too if you want to have it completely off it's daytime or maybe you're in a business environment and you want to just turn the rgbs off you don't want them boom there you go you can hit function and the f12 key and bring them all the way up you can hold it down or you can pull it up and bada boom, bada bing. It is so goddamn bright. I kind of like this. It like provides like an underglow effect. I don't know if you guys have ever played one of the old Need for Speed games where like you could get under <laughs> under your car neon, but that's kind of what this reminds me of and it looks freaking awesome. So that is what it looks like in a dark environment. It's gorgeous. I love it freaking awesome. I want to thank guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed my review and my unboxing, I, I know the review portion wasn't very good, but I know people love watching unboxings. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like down below. If you are new and you have not already, make sure to drop a nuke down on that subscribe button to become part of the eavesdrop army and tap the bell to get the notifications of my videos as soon as they go live. And also, if you're already part of the eavesdrop army and you want to show your support and rep the eavesdrop army, rep the eavesdrop logo, I do have a spreadshirt shop where you can buy shirts, sweatshirts, mouse pads, stainless steel water bottles, all kinds of different stuff. So you want to check that out. Link is in the description, shop.spreadshirt.com slash eavesdrop. But I want to thank you guys for watching the video. And most of all, I hope you guys all have an absolutely fantastic day. First and foremost, just have a freaking amazing day. But I'll see you guys all later. And, uh, you know, like I said, have an amazing day. As always, I have an eavesdrop and I'm out.